Welcome back to Celebrity Radio. It's Alex Belfield You're talking to some of the country's biggest stars and some of my favourite people. And we've got one for you today, the star of Aladdin at the glorious Darlington Hippodrome. It's Louis Spence. How are you? Hello, I'm good, thank you. Thanks for that introduction. One of the big stars of the nation. I'm liking that. So well, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> well, you're whopping, you're bulging, and there you are playing the star role in Aladdin. It must be great to be you because, let's face it, the backbone of Panto is stars and personalities, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it is. And I think, you know, this is a medium that's really suited to me. You know, it's um, something that is, you know, they say it's Campus Christmas, and I suppose you could say it's Campus Christmas. <laughs> So, and um, it's a lot of fun interacting with the audience. You know, every show's different. But, you know, I mean, it's nice to say I'm the star. Yeah, I'm the star billing. But, I mean, it's, it is a sort of an ensemble cast piece. I mean, you know, we all have our bit to do. And there's a great cast alongside me who are absolutely fantastic. So, you know, it's not just me making this show. But you can say that. But I can't. <laughs> no, you really do. And you've got high energy. I wonder how you sustain it until January the 6th. Because it's a long run, Panto. It's two shows shows a day you work harder than the West End even it, it's a tough gig you've got to be focused and disciplined yeah you have but I think you know the thing is I mean you know it, it's my it, it's my background you know coming from a dance background it's very disciplined you know I'm not one of these people who have you know been fortunate to become a celebrity you know known in the public and you know just been thrown from some kind of reality you know this is what I've crafted all my life you know, I've worked in the West End, you know, I've toured with, like, you know, pop bands all around the world. You know, I've always worked hard and sort of tried to master my craft. So it is a hard task, two shows a day, but, you know, it's what I sort of trained for all my life. So, you know, it's like when there's a red light on, you perform. When there's an audience, you perform. So you just sort of try and preserve your energy a bit while you're not on stage and then give everything while you are on there. You know, that's the, you know, that's the most important thing, especially in pantomime. Mm. You know, it is got to be, you know, even more so. So... Yeah, but I mean, I enjoy it as well, so it makes a difference. I guess the thrill, too, is having a dressing room for a month, five weeks, and staying there and not having to go gig to gig, because that's been a big part of your career, and that's the tiring bit, the travelling. Yeah, I mean, the travel, like, you know, when I was in the West End, you know, fortunately, we stayed, you know, we had six-month or year contracts, but, like, when I was touring with the Spice Girls or, you know, Dance with Kylie or whoever it was, you know, yeah, you were going from, you know, one hotel to another hotel, and although it sounds very glamorous, you know, there was really nothing that glamorous about it. The, you know, the novelty soon wore off. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it's nice to be in one place. And, you know, like I say, it's nice because it's a festive period. And also, there's people that come to the theatre that don't normally come to the theatre, you know, like grandparents bring their grandchildren. And, you know, maybe the only time they come to a theatre, you know, ever or the first time they're coming to a theatre. So, you know, it's got to be a great experience for them. And I think that's what Panto is. So, you know, hopefully it'll bring people back to the theatre more for other things as well. But like I say, you know, this is, so, you know, it's, I, I've done like 10 Pantos now, you know, consecutively. And this is, you know, particularly a really good cast. We've got, you know, a great Aladdin and, you know, got the gorgeous Zoe Burkett, who's Jasmine, you know, uh, you know, and Carl with, who's Aladdin with, you know, they've got these amazing voices. You know, they've both worked in West End. You know, you've got the best of a good bunch. Mm. You know, it's just, you know, it's not like just London that gets these kind of performers. You know, you really have got a quality cast. I mean, everyone is fantastic. And, you know, and it makes it a pleasure to do it. And it makes everyone's job easier as well when everyone's professional and really, really good at what they do. And you, of course, have got the Kudos Magic. They're the biggest producer in Britain now of pantomime, oh, and they give you a huge show. I mean, people forget how much work and time and effort and money goes into these shows. They are on par with any touring national UK oh, production. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the sets are phenomenal. You know, these guys, you know, they're already preparing for the shows, what they're doing next year. I mean, you know, their sets and their costumes are absolutely match West End, if not better than some West End. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It really is, you know, a full on experience and there's no expense spared. So, you know, I know that, you know, some people may find it a little bit costly, but there are some great deals as well. Um, you know, but it's you, you are getting an absolute, you know, production with, you know, nothing spared. These, these aren't wobbly cardboard sets. You know, they really are spectacular. So, you know, it, it's a wonderful thing to do. Like I say, it's a wonderful thing to do at Christmas. And, you know, I'm really, really enjoying it here in Darlington as well. It's a lovely, I thought it was a city, but it's not apparently it's a town. So mm. that's how ignorant I am. But then I can count to eight and do the splits really well. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> but um, be paid a fortune for it. So um, I don't care if I know a city or a town. But, it, 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 you know, it's, it's really beautiful up here. And, you know, I'm having a really nice time. The people are lovely. The mm. town's lovely. So, yeah, you know, I'm having a good I'm, ha I'm having a good Christmas. I saw the show last year in Bristol, this same production, and there are some quite terrifying moments in it. Yeah, but you 
won't, it won't be as good, darling, because I wasn't in it. So there's no comparison. <laughs> you need to come and see this one, and then we can talk about I'm not talking about last year's, darling. That's gone. That's in the past. I don't care what they did. We've done it better. Uh, so when you come and see ours, we can talk again, and then we can talk how fabulous this one is. We don't go back, darling. We only go forward. Has a producer ever said to you, can we tone down the camp, or can you be as camp as you want in Panto? I think in, 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 in Panto, I think you can be as camp as you want. Um, uh, they've asked me to slow down. Sometimes I can speak a bit fast, you know. But um, And, you know, I think you've always got to be aware of your innuendo in Panto. As long as it's, you know, fun and it's not offensive and, you know, if it is innuendo for the adults, they get it and it does just fly over the kids' heads. Mm. As long as there's all that involved, you know, I think everyone's fine. But, no, I've always been given fairly much free reigns to be as, um, as outrageous and camp and, you know... Um, do what I do, you know, and, mm. you know, it puts a smile on people's faces, you know, it, it, it's not reality, it's, you know, it's an experience for, you know, within the medium what we're doing, and it works, so, you know, I give it what they want, and, you know, people are leaving with smiling faces, and they're all really pleased, and, you know, seem to really, really enjoy the show this year, so mm. that's the main thing. I don't know whether you saw Julian Clary's dick last year at the Palladium, but he didn't bother with double entendre, he stuck with single entendre, it was much quicker. Yes, I know, darling, and I literally <laughs> I mean, we won't even go there. I mean, I could have come back with you so good then, but I won't. But no, I didn't manage to see Julian's dick, but um, I'm sure it was pretty spectacular, as he is. Yes, you want to see his Snow White this year. It's even more outrageous. And I think that's what's great about Panto now. It has to keep up with the times. And, of course, kids have changed. The innocence is not as innocent as it used to be, and they need a big show because kids aren't going to sit there for two hours being bored. No, absolutely. I mean, otherwise, they just sit at home on their phone, which they find far more entertaining. I mean, you've got to give them, you know, current songs. You've got to give them re um, references which they understand. You know, mm. the older things don't really work anymore. You know, you've got to be... I, I mean, you know... The kids are different now. At the touch of, like, say, their phones, they can, you know, experience whatever they want, mm. you know, and see it done really well. So you've really got to, you know, push the boat out. And that's what Kudos does. And that's what, you know, that's what I believe this Panto this year is doing as well. And the kids are going away, you know, laughing and enjoying themselves as well and having a couple of hours off of their phone, you know, mm. to show them there is life beyond that. So is it... they go on it after and just go on social media and say how fabulous we are. <laughs> you know, that's fine, but just don't do it twice. <laughs> you can see Louis Spence in pantomime Aladdin at the Darlington Hippodrome through January 6th. It's been lovely talking to you. Thank you so much for your time. You too. All right, you take care. Bye.